function, and umpy.unique. Then umpy.unique function is used to find the unique elements of an array. It returns the sorted unique elements of an array. This line imports the numpy library. This line creates a one-dimensional numpy array named air with the values 2, 1, 3, 2, 4, 3, 4, 1. Here, np.unique is used to find the unique values in the array air. It returns an array of the unique values 1, 2, 3, 4. In this case, np.unique is called with the return underscore index equals true argument. It returns two arrays, values containing the unique values 1, 2, 3, 4, and indices containing the indices of the first occurrence of each unique value in the original array. Here, indices will be 1, 0, 2, 4, indicating the positions of the unique values in the original array air. Here, np.unique is called with return underscore counts equals true, counts containing the number of times each unique value appears in the original array. In this case, counts will be 2, 2, 2, 2, indicating that 1 appears twice, 2 appears twice, 3 appears twice, and 4 appears twice. This line creates a two-dimensional numpy array named R1, with the given values arranged in a 4x4 four four matrix. Here, np.unique is called with axis equals 0, to find the unique rows in R1. It returns a two-dimensional array unique underscore rows, containing the rows with unique values. This array represents the unique rows in R1. Similarly, this code finds the unique elements along each column of R1. This array represents the unique columns in R1. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos like this.